Bruce here. This video talks about Genji and Singapore listed in the SGX. So, everybody doing the recovery play. I very aggressively doing the recovery play. In uh, January, I saw the all growth stock, the sector rotate to the value stock, is a special focus on the opening stock. Is uh, Then, um, uh, especially the US, is a US, for example, the Jim Kramer is a February 22nd release of this kind of the, uh, video in the CNBC. Is a not to wait to the, make a big bet on the, this reopening stock. I'm, I'm totally aligned with him. Is a he pick up a Disney, Marriott, Wind Resort, some, uh, Southwest, uh, Loyal Caribbean Cruise. I also follow these guys. Uh, then, um, um, as he said, is uh, February is a big month for the, this kind of reopening guy. Is uh, amusement park industry, the uh, Disney up 10%, hotel industry Marriott up 20%, Hyatt also up, casino industry the Wind Resort up 20%, also Las Vegas Sands up as well. Is a cruise is especially a uh, crazy one, 30% up. Loyal Caribbean cruise here, like uh, the pick up. Also CCL is uh, I have. Uh, so then. Uh, what happened to Genji Singapore? Resort World Sentosa, where I'm here in Singapore. So Resort World Sentosa has the same profile as they it has amusement park, is a Universal Studio operation, is a casino hotel. A cruise is a, a Genji group own or doing cruise business, but uh, operated by Genji Hong Kong. So what about Genji Singapore stock performance? Is, is it same as uh, like a U.S. momentum or not? But answer is no. This is a muted. Is that so amaze? Is uh, like uh, uh, this uh, earning call earning was released the February 9th or 10th. Right after that, is the stock actually the, uh, going down? What happens? Well, looking at the details in the you know share price and the volume, the show one. Uh, this is a, a, a stock price from the February 1 to the March 2nd. Is uh, then the uh, this. February 9 is a uh, earning uh, release is a uh, stock went up to the 89 cent then after uh, earning release is a uh, stock went down to 86.5 cent is a uh, now yesterday is 84.5 cent is it's went down uh, then the uh, February 10th is a show coverage is really up to the 40% since then the uh, 39% 44% 53% Sure, it's crazy. Then February 16th, Singapore 2021 budget actually the uh, say is a, a job support scheme covered uh, like a tourism industry, including uh, like again in Singapore, but shortage coverage is a 53%. That's crazy one from my view. And um, then the uh, real like a reopening like a momentum happened in the U.S. in the world. In the February uh, 16th to the uh, February 26th, uh, around these two weeks, yes, US, uh, you guys know, US 10 year treasury now, it will really surge, quickly move up. Inflation coming, and the uh, uh, reopening coming, so growth stock down, value stock up, reopening stock surge. These two weeks is uh, those kind of a momentum really uh, you know, hot. And uh, Jim Cramer released that video uh, February 22nd, but that day still show guy show covers 47 percent. Then uh, even in March the show guy covered 43 percent. I don't know what happens. Then the look, then the, I decided to you know why uh, this uh, Singapore like uh, uh, Genting Singapore like a stock performance is different from others. So first question is, um, uh, is it industrial issue or not? Just a double check. So amusement industry, casino industry, hotel industry in the mostly the uh, Asia or like uh, uh, more relevant to the Genji Singapore. First is the Amazing Park is a uni of course a Universal Studio. It's owned by Comcast company. Casino is a uh, Las Vegas Sands is a uh, Marina Bay Sands. Uh, here hotel is a Shangri La, most Asia like a hotel chain. Is a cruise is a uh, uh, so Genting Singapore does not manage, but uh, this is a part of the reopening stock. The Genting Hong Kong actually operate this one. So first one is a uh, Comcast Corporation, which owns the Universal Studio. This one uh, share is okay, eight percent up. Then the Las Vegas Sands own like a uh, uh, Marina Bay Sands. This one eighteen percent up. That's nice. Then the uh, Casino, the old magazine also uh, say February 1st is a mind based sense generator operating profit 144%, quarter quarter 106% up. So gross can be found here is uh, nice. 
Um, the other like uh, industry issue in casino, especially Asia, is the China cracking illegal cross border casino one. Uh, so December 30 last year, is uh, China passed an amendment to the East Korean law, uh, which says uh, from March 1st, 2021, create a new crime against cross border casino found to be organizing or sourcing Chinese citizens to gamble, and uh, increase the penalties one. So this one. Uh, release actually uh, last year December 30 so when I look at the again the Singapore stock is uh, from the December 30 last year is a uh, 85.5 cent it's uh, but this two weeks timeline it went up to 88 cent also volume up so this news is already priced in and the uh, price goes up actually and also again the Singapore already has guided that it does not expect VIP market to recovery to pre-COVID-19 level due to intensified pressure on the overseas gambling imposed by Chinese government on its citizens. Okay, so this one already price in. So what about tax issues? So 2019 is a this is a Straits Times article with a casino uh, taxes to go up in the 2022 next year one more year. So casino face a higher taxes in a three year time. When the government will take up to 22% of their gross gaming revenue. Yeah, uh, so premium gaming, mass gaming, premium gaming side only 5% tax, mass gaming 15% uh, tax by uh, one more year uh, until February 2022. But after that, tax really go up. It's 8% for tier 1, 20% tier 2 for the premium gaming. 18% for tier 1, 22% for tier 2 for mass gaming. That's a lot. So that's made so much impact is uh, uh, their cost. Uh, but uh, point is that to already uh, this news was uh, shared two years ago. Already supposed to be priced in, my view. So casino industry does not have any specific topic why Gentin does not Gentin stock is going up. So move to the hotel one, Shangri-La. Uh, so 15% up, uh, yeah, uh, so no problem. If the Genting Hong Kong actually 18% up, this one actually the struggle with the finance. So like uh, edgemarket.com article say is uh, uh, Genting Hong Kong talk about German federal and the state government of the release of additional fund about US dollars 600 million. So this guy struggle, but basically 80% up so momentum is there is that's why stock is a follow the those kind of momentum um, it seems like the industry does not have any issues of that then next question is it the company specific company can take Singapore issues okay let's look at the first is the earning uh, you know which was released on the February 9th five bank analysts say is a uh, it's that Result was good, exceeded expectation, above expectation, beat our expectation. That's good. And uh, even the UOB say like, uh, you know, Q4 result outperform rival Marina Bay Sands. We estimate uh, like a result was Sentosa market share in Singapore gaming revenue lost to 44%. Is that's great. And uh, another call with the target price is uh, this uh, one, two, three, four banks say is a buy. May bank is hold. Is a target price at 0.92 is the bottom to the 1.08. Looks nice. Or oh, other special issue is a uh, Resort Wall Center 2.0 issue. So 2019, about two years ago, uh, uh, Gente Singapore announced that expansion plans. They invest 4.5 billion uh, to expand like a uh, Resort Wall Center to survive about 50%. So this project uh, plans to be finished like a 2025. Uh, so that one uh, COVID-19 happened, that's what's going to delay or not? Of course delay, uh, but it, DBS analysts say that it's going to be delayed, but uh, within that year. So it may not be ma much, I think. Then, the, oh, what about Yokohama Integrate Resort issue? Is that uh, this one is uh, still RFP stage. Is a schedule is just the RFP process begin then the conclude on May 17th and the result uh, will be come out like uh, this summer. We don't know what happens. So that one is not effective in my view. Okay, this is not a special company issue. So then the third one, is it the geo, like a Singapore issues? But like a Singapore airline, 25% up within this month. And the SADS is 20% up this month. And the Singapore budget 2021 is standard like a uh, you know, job support scheme. Uh, 
basically is uh, that cover like a uh, against in Singapore is it's, this is a really good news uh, so Singapore geo issue is uh, does not so much exist so no industry issue no company issue no geo issues again why mute so Genting Singapore needs a more solid indication on the reopening otherwise the prices is uh, always all mute is <laughs> um, so actually analysts uh, four analysts actually mentioned about focus of the reopening business they all say like uh, uh, does not expect the opening business by 2021 and so what my uh, approach is uh, so I myself actually bought 400k uh, share 400, uh, 40k shares is at 84 cents in the last month and uh, if uh, price is lower than the 82.5 cents I'm gonna add more this one uh, then the targeting sell like a uh, one dollars and the uh, rest uh, Less than 1.08. Okay, is uh, hope your reopening play uh, works well. Have a good deal and a good day.